Everything you're about to see is real. Viewer discretion is advised. We're here at the Molly Brown house. Haunted tours of Denver. Everyone's always going to say that this house is haunted. To people get an eerie feeling on the third floor in the servants' room. You can manipulate. Above. Above. Number the, the third, third floor. floor. It's like leading us. It's like in front of you. Go higher. This is the servants' room. Axe. Oh, Axe. Oh my god. Axe. I got like, I got like yeah, the chills. Really. The Molly Brown House in Denver, Colorado was named after the Titanic survivor, Margaret Tobin Brown. She was a women's and juvenile activist in 1887. Molly and her husband JJ decided to renovate the building as a boarding home and nursery and later housed noble government members during the suffrage of the Silver Crash in 1893. Now preserved after near demolition on multiple occasions, this building stands as one with exemplary architecture and commemorates the virtuous acts of Margaret during its pivotal moment in Denver's economic history. What was originally intended to be a symbol of Molly's heroism also carries a reputation of being one of the most haunted buildings on the block. Claims of seeing the Victorian Brown family are made by tourists, museum workers, and neighbor passerbys. Various locals also report smelling JJ's pipe smoke mysteriously, and further reports detail other paranormal events, such as light bulbs randomly becoming undone and the residents' furniture getting rearranged with no trace of how. Considering that many of the relics contained are the originals, ghost enthusiasts hypothesize that this location continues to harbor those who once suffered during times of war and despair. <laughs> at the Molly Brown house. We made it. Taking camp under this tree. It's hot. Oh my god, it's hot. I should have not wore black. Yep, that's why we're gray. Yeah. You, you heard the man. He's cool. Literally cooler than I am because he's got shorts and I chose to wear jeans. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Molly Brown house. All right, we got to get started. Right now let's go. Yeah, right now we're running to go soup. Let's get it, boy. Get it. <laughs> All right, we're headed inside. As you can see, this building's like really old. definitely archaic, definitely Victorian style. I love to live here. Is that your piano? Here you go. It is. 
Just because oh, no one. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a view. Yeah. I don't know if it was recording. This is recording. Is it? Yeah. I'm Just said in front of you. It did. And we weren't looking. The look, isn't that Molly though? It was creepy as soon as we came in here and said that. All right, yeah, because they said they saw the apparition. Um, she said people get an eerie feeling on the third floor in the servant's room. And if there's anything here, it's gotta be the servant. Cause that was the person the gown has been seen frequently. Mm -hmm. Even though we know Molly and her husband didn't die here, maybe a servant did that wasn't documented. Yeah, so let's yeah. go to the third floor. Yeah, we're gonna check it out. After we check other floors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Just a push. Push. Yeah. But remember it said in front of you? And that's her. Yes, you're right. It did. Yeah. Margaret's room? Yeah. Molly. She goes by Margaret. Or she goes by Molly. Her name is Margaret, but she goes by Molly. I think this would be the ideal spot to start asking some questions. Are you here, Margaret? Molly? They say that they see, like, someone standing at this window. Yeah, it's like a window that you can't even enter in there. So how would they find? How would they see? Oh, and that's a mirror that people talk about too. That they would see things in the mirror. Robbie's Deceased. 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 What? What disease? I don't know. I'm talking to this. I don't know if it's a servant, but... It's a servant? I got a feeling like we're not even working with Margaret and John, but we're probably working with like a servant. That's what most people think they see here too, it's a servant. Yeah, maybe even just a the servant. If there's a servant that's here, did you want to make yourself known? You can manipulate... Above. Above. Number the third, third floor. floor. Oh. Yeah, we'll work our way up. Yeah, so it's pro the servant's here for sure. It's like leading us, it's like in front of you. Go higher. Yeah. You know, so dark. Okay, we just follow it. Dark. It's dark? Was there dark. A Maybe in the servant's room it's dark. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Do you want us to head up there? I'm not even feeling nothing in here. Well obviously something's above us, so that's the one that people get the eerie feeling. This is the servant's oh, room. This is oh the my god, this. yeah. Dude, I do have a feeling. Ooh, I got like, I got yeah, like the chills. Too, we'll see if you can mess with the light on that. Right now it's showing green. Let's see if it'll go up with the camera. Axe. Oh, Axe. Oh my god. Axe? What the hell? What does that mean by Axe? Oh, I don't know what that means by Axe. Maybe Axe murder? That's what I think when I hear axe. Yeah, you think of yeah, like... Yeah, they use axe for wood or chopping a body part. Uh, I don't know how, how that's It was freaking. crazy because we weren't getting anything on that in the other room. No. It wasn't until we actually walked into the servant's room we that started we getting spots. What do you have to tell us about an axe? Is there an axe in this room with us? What about the axe? Are we talking to the servant? The grumpy servant. 
Oh shit, I thought I saw something over here. Like, really? a, like, yeah. a, like a shadow. It's like a weird feeling in here. It is. It's not It's not uh, EMF either. It's something else. It's, it's not going off that much. It's still baseline's the same. So there's that oh, weird see. symbol up there. It's not even a cross. Maybe it's part of this culture? I don't know. Did you actually do sewing? What's your name? Or did you sew together, people? You can talk to us. You told us to come up here. We're trying to put together the axe. Heard you were hung. Didn't they say he was like hanging in the mirror? Yeah, in the servant's mirror right here. Is this the mirror you looked into? Yeah, this is the mirror. People say that they'd see him standing in here. Yeah. What's your name? They say that mirror... Portrait! Oh! Portrait. That's a portrait of him. It is a portrait of him, but also this is a this is a portrait of you too. Oh. And mirrors are the the gateway to another portal. Is a theory. Yeah, because you got to think about it. He literally saw himself in this mirror. Just as we are now. Yeah, it's almost like a different dimension. That's what mirrors are. Uh -huh. It's a portrait of yourself. It's everything you can see is it is reflected. What do you mean by portrait? Were you aware that we're just looking at your portrait? I'm not getting readings on here. Why are you grumpy? You want to tell us why you're grumpy? Whoa, did you hear that? Yeah. Was that not you? No, that wasn't. It's like a tap. It was, I heard it. It was like from over here. Hello? And as you can tell, the floor, that wasn't like a creek either. The floor doesn't creak. Okay, we're about to leave. Did you sit in this rocking chair? Did you sit in this rocking chair? Did you sit in this rocking chair? Can you sit right here? Move the rocking chair for some here. That move, if that moved on so that would be way too definitive. I would probably freak out and believe paranormal was <laughs> I'll walk out here being a firm believer. Move the chair. We're not getting any more activity on that either. No, I don't feel the vibe anymore. Yeah, I need the vibe. It's like a the portrait. Activity. Maybe like uh, the dimension he hid. If he went into the mirror dimension. Alright. That's all we're gonna get here. Alright. That's the servant's room. Uh-huh. We had a little bit of activity and then after that it just kind of fell off. Nothing really convincing though. No. Nothing convincing enough. We can't even Definitive. prove that he died in here. No, we can't prove there's a disgruntled servant at all, mm -hmm. but this yeah, thing goes yeah. off some EMF spikes, however. Mm. It, it could always be just the electricity here. Yeah. And it can't go off at the same time. Yeah, it could. Alright, closing communication. Closing communication. Off.
to about your experience here at Molly Brown? It's not haunted. Even the, a lot of the people that work here said that they feel nothing here and there's no deaths that happen here. So, no recorded deaths. So how do you feel? We didn't have a chance to really check out the ghost cat, but considering like some of the other claims here or lack thereof, I don't think it was even worth looking further into. No. It's a beautiful house, so. So final thoughts? Not haunted. Not haunted. There's a lot of history here, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. We did be debunk a couple things with the EMF readers coming off of those heater vents. Yeah. So if people are feeling weird stuff, it's probably the EMF heaters. Um, people seeing other apparitions in the window, it's probably staff. It is most likely staff. Mm -hmm. But it was still fun coming out here. We were going to be visiting Denver for other reasons anyway, yeah. so... So like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, guys. Hit that notification Don't bell. Don't ghost us now. We're here for you. Ghost those ghost. Ghost. Ow. Ooh.